Okay, so finally I'm gonna do some food on my channel. I know everyone's excited about that. What is going on YouTube? Greetings from San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is a port that I've never been to, so I'm super excited to get out and explore. Another great thing I like about this port is this is one of those places that you can just walk off the ship and there's plenty of things to do within walking distance. There is a beach within a 30 minute walk. There's a national park with a historical monument. Then a 20 minute walk. There's all kinds of shops and restaurants in the area. So that's my kind of Port. I don't have to sign up for any excursions and be on someone else's program. I don't have to try to find a taxi cab. I can just walk off the ship, go find food, go find really cool stuff to see. So I'm super excited about that. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a, a ship behind me. I'm not sure what cruise line that is. I, I don't recognize the logo. So if you know, comment down below. I'm super curious. And without further ado, let's go explore Puerto Rico. So I got off the ship. I didn't really show you the security procedures because they won't let me film them, but it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is have an ID and use this little medallion and you hit this little button thingy and it checks you out. And then when you come back on, you hit the little button thingy again with this medallion and it checks you back in. It's like great technology. So when you walk off the ship, you'll have a choice to go left or right. If you go left, it's towards the historical area where the national park is and some historic monument is, or you can go right and you can head towards the beach area. And I think a little bit of like an old church town type of feel. And it's just beautiful. I mean, they have this amazing walkway here that you can see uh, really neat uh, and really convenient. You can see there's a ship right there behind me. So I think we're gonna try to find the beach area. It's about a 28 minute walk from where we are, which will be great because we'll be able to explore this little area near the port and see what's all here. See if it's worth getting off the ship and just walking around or if you really need to go take a taxi to Old Town. By the way, I'll be coming back here a few times. So I will explore Old Town and all those kind of places, but I wanted to see where I could walk to from the ship first. So that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go find this beach and uh, you know everything along the way. So. Let's go. So when you're walking along this pier area here, there's all kinds of things to do. Like you see the lady behind me, she's on that motorized power board or something going in and out of the port area. There's also all kinds of tours that you can take. They're pretty affordable. I mean, I think you can go up into in a helicopter for like 75 bucks. So that's actually not too expensive for a helicopter tour. I'm not sure exactly what it shows you, but there's all kinds of things that you can get into right here on the pier. If you didn't book an excursion, but then you get off and you're like, oh, I want to see that. Well, just look for it on the, in the waterfront area. You'll probably find it. And if you really don't want to walk, but you also don't want to take a cab, there are these motorized scooters and bikes that you can just scan the app and rent them out for a little while, an hour, a day or whatever. So that's a pretty good option. Only about a block from the ship is a Holocaust memorial next to a government building. I'm not sure exactly what the government building is. It's like something you'd see in Washington, D.C. A lot of marble, things like that. All kinds of pretty cool stuff to see really close to the ship. So we are only about, I don't know, maybe five, maybe ten minutes from the ship. There's that old historical building right behind me, right? And you can see that from the ship. And bam, you're this close to the you know, beautiful beach. This is a walkway that runs this way. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but there's that old historical site I was talking about. It's actually pretty close. I don't think that's a 20 minute walk away. And then this way would be the beach with the sand. Uh, it's kind of rocky here, so it's not like a beach you would want to want to be on, but they have this amazing walkway and all of these bike paths all around the island. So you could rent a bike like I mentioned before and ride everywhere. It's pretty cool found all kinds of little lizard friends chilling here soaking up the rays enjoying the sounds of the ocean what a life wow look at that i can't express to you how awesome this walkway here is okay it is super windy out here at the beach and there's definitely some waves and some choppiness but i think it is time to get my toes in the sand <laughs> it really 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 
is a beautiful beach. And again, you know, it's within commuting distance of the ship. There's lifeguards on duty. So it's pretty awesome. I see some people with some snorkel gear here. So I'm assuming there's some snorkeling. I can see a little bit of reef out there. So maybe they're maybe when it's calmer there's some good good snorkeling here as well. I'm not sure. If any of you have ever been to this beach before know the answer to that, let me know. So over here at the far end of the beach is this like grassy outcropping area. And there are a bunch of tide pools here. So I love tide pools. Looking for different fish in there. They're also great for cleaning off your feet. Just step in the tide pool, you know, go like that. Get all the sand off your feet and then uh, continue on your journey. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Anybody else use tide pools to clean the sand off their sandals and feet after they've been at the beach? All right, this looks like it's going to be a pretty epic view up here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Reminds you of like, other than the palm trees, of like a view you'd see in like Ireland or something with all the green grass and then the ocean. So as you keep walking along the beach, you come across this little historical site, but you also come across a little protected area here. So you saw where I was before the waves were crashing and did not look like a good place for snorkeling at this time. But you come over here and you have a more protected bay. There's a whole bunch of people looking like they're gonna do some scuba diving or just coming back from a scuba dive. And there's some snorkelers over there. So you do have this protected area. If you keep walking along the coast, you'll find that. And then you'll have, uh, have this old uh, historical ruin over here as well. And as you can see, there must be some sea turtles running around here. That's pretty cool. Again, take a look at the map. I'll put the map up again. This is pretty close to where the cruise ship pulls in, so pretty easy for you to get over to this area. Enjoy the day without having to, you know, do an excursion or hop in a cab or anything like that. So it's pretty cool. Ooh. So I started walking away from the beach to go find something to eat. I'm actually starving and it started raining it's one of those rains where there's like one little cloud that's raining and then clear skies you know in hawaii we call these maca showers what do they call them in puerto rico i'm sure there's a name for them so my friend chris saw that i was in puerto rico and she said you got to go eat some mofongo so i have no idea what that is but i'm gonna go try to find some of it and have it for lunch hopefully it's a lunch thing and not like i don't know an alcoholic beverage or something so we'll see but uh that's where we're going right now we're gonna head back towards the ship and try to find somewhere to eat okay so we made it to this historical site it's called the san juan national historic site it's a national park i'll be honest with you i'm freaking starving right now so as interesting as i'm sure this place is I'm more interested in going and grabbing some food right now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head into this little really cool looking area and try to find that mofunga. Look at how colorful this little neighborhood is. This is where I'm going to try to find my mofunga. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I usually have bad luck with this kind of food type of stuff. But everyone always wants food vlogs. So I'm going to try to... <laughs> Log a little bit of the food I eat. So my GPS says down this little back alley here and to the left is a restaurant called Cafe Luna that has the best mofunga in this area. So we are gonna go see if that's a true statement. And here we go, here is Casa Luna. I am in an area where there's nobody else. So I think that's actually a good sign. Let's go see if they're open. So this restaurant does have mafungo, which is awesome. I just got the vegetable one because I'm trying to eat a little bit light today. And anyway, I'm going to have a seat. We're going to get that mafungo. Awesome. Thank you. 
Okay, so finally I'm gonna do some food on my channel. I know everyone's excited about that. The reason I don't usually do food on my channel is I'm in a place where there's a ton of people and I can't talk and eat freely without being super embarrassed. So that's normally why I don't do it. I know I mentioned that before, but you'll see this is the mafunga. The owner told me that this is a traditional Puerto Rican dish that has African roots. It's plantain that is basically mashed down, kind of like mashed potatoes. They put garlic and all kinds of stuff in it. And you can get it with shrimp. You can get it with chicken. You can get it with all kinds of seafood. I chose to get it with vegetables because I'm trying to eat a little bit light here. But without further ado, I'm gonna dig into this and see if my friend Chris was correct that this is super good. All right. That is really good. The It, it tastes different than I thought. When he said plantains, I thought maybe it would have like a sweet taste to it, but it doesn't. It tastes kind of mashed potato-y a little bit. Yeah, that's really, really good. It's phenomenal, actually. Um, it was a great recommendation by my friend Chris. Again, everyone say thanks, Chris, in the comments. This is phenomenal. I'm going to eat this whole freaking thing. I don't know if I want to keep filming because I look like a complete pig. Oh my God, it is so much food. There's no way I'm gonna be able to finish that. It's like, it's very filling. Uh, it's really, really, really good. Uh, I mentioned that it kind of tastes like mashed potatoes, but the more I ate it, the more it was like, okay, it doesn't really taste like mashed potatoes. It tastes like its own thing. And it's just so good. Um, the owners of the restaurant came over and said, hey, next time try it with uh, different kinds of meat. It's really good with the different kinds of meat. This place is called Cafe Luna. It's within walking distance of the ship. It's a little bit out of the way down a back alley. So you'll probably be here with no one else from the ship, which is super rare, but you'll get to get this amazing authentic food in this really, really cool looking restaurant. Here. So um, I think I'm gonna head back outside and maybe uh, start making my way back to the ship, showing you some of the things along the way. Oh, I'm such a bad travel vlogger. I ran out of battery on my phone. I just charged it up a little bit. I'm back on the ship. Uh, I left Puerto Rico, but like I said, I'm a terrible travel vlogger. I need to get better at this. I should have been bringing a backup battery with me, but I'm gonna throw you to Kevin from the past, Beach Kevin, to close this video out. If you enjoyed that video and wanna watch more of my cruise content, make sure you click on my cruise playlist up here. And if you're curious about my plan to live on nothing but cruise ships, for a year, check out this video down here. Thanks for watching. See you next video.